Hello everyone, it's Rachel from Sweet and Simple Home. Thanks so much for coming by to hang out with me today. I have a Goodwill haul to share with you guys, but it is my tradition on my channel to share the love with other channels on Valentine's Day. So for the past two weeks, I've had a child sick, one of my three, <laughs> taking turns, and I wasn't able to film until today. So, I'm going to combine and share the love with a few channels and then show you my Goodwill haul. I've been doing this for seven or eight years now, something like that, where every Valentine's Day I talk about other channels that I'm enjoying. And I know if other channels hadn't mentioned me, especially early on in my YouTube days, many of you would not have found me. So I'm happy to share the love to spread the viewership out and send you guys to some lovely YouTube creators that I recommend. So these days, my YouTube time is very practical just because I'm working now. I have found that the channels that I'm turning to the most are either like tried and true channels that I've been watching forever or uh, channels that help me grow in something I'm trying to learn. I will share with you some of those right now. The first channel I want to share with you, she does a lot of the junk journaling that I've mentioned in past videos that I like to do as sort of a crafting hobby. And her name is Janet Nash. And she is the sweetest lady. She lives in the UK. She always has these really sweet things that she says. And she has a little fairy that she <laughs> has sitting on her craft desk. And she'll be like, what are you making today? And I don't know. I just find her so sweet. I kind of think that I would want to go and have a cup of tea and craft with her if I lived in the UK. I was looking for ideas for a journal that I've been working on and just kind of came across her channel a few months ago and have really enjoyed her content. She's so like just calming to watch and she always talks about how crafting is so relaxing and I don't know I just think she's darling. The next channel is called Rachel in the Highlands. This is a new channel to me and she does a lot of the darker dramatic bringing in a lot of those English colors and things like that in her decor and she also loves to thrift. So she's a smaller channel as well so I hope you'll go check her out. She recently did this sort of dramatic family room space and shared that and I loved that. I'm getting more into using some of the deeper rich colors that I'm loving. As you can tell, I've got my new wallpaper behind me. I'll link to the video where I shared my new wallpaper in case you missed it, but I do enjoy her channel, so I hope you'll go check her out. The next channel was one I came across probably about a year ago when I was looking at how other channels share book related content. It is still a dream of mine that someday I will have a channel where I can talk about books, share books, share some of my antique books especially. And I came across this channel uh, looking at how other people make this kind of content. And if I ever do start a channel, I hope it will look like hers, the way she has her set up and everything. I don't know how to pronounce because she's Austrian, but I think it's Melange, Melange. But she shares a lot of maps, and historical content and it's all done very softly very calmly and she often has her little kitty i learn a lot when i listen to her content i learn about different countries and different languages and things so she does videos both in english and in her native language so that's pretty neat many of you know i've been trying to grow in my skills as a gardener so i've been watching linda vader's channel for gardening inspiration she's a very beautiful style but she also enjoys incorporating thrifted pieces and a lot of diys into her garden i found her garden tour videos or her walkabout wednesday videos very inspiring. Linda actually just bought a brand new house and so I'm really looking forward to seeing how she sort of creates a new garden space at this new house. So I will link to those channels that I mentioned down below and we'll also include some tried and true channels that I've watched for years and years and that I've mentioned in past Share the Loves and I also have a Share the Love playlist 
with all the share the love videos I've done over the years. I've done this for seven or eight years now. So if you're looking for some fun new channels to watch, it's definitely a great resource for you and I'll be sure to link that. All right, now that the love is shared, let's share the Goodwill haul. I got to go to Goodwill a few weeks back when they were having a 50% off sale. And one of the things I was looking for was some new glasses, just like daily, can take abuse kind of glasses. We have mason jars that we use as glasses. And I was feeling the need to actually have real glasses. My kids are getting older now. I do still think that there's some charm with a mason jar, don't get me wrong. I loved the idea of having like a matching set for everybody. So there was two sets of four and they were $2.99. So I ended up paying $2.99 for all eight of them. And so now we have some real drinking glasses and they're just super classic and simple. This next find is not as practical, but I'm really, really excited about it. It's kind of big, so I'm not sure if I can fit it. I found this also on the 50% off day, and it's a rather large sign. Let's see if I can fit it in the frame. There we go. It says, God bless us, everyone, which is a line from Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol, and it's done in this, like, really cool old world style font and this gorgeous green with the black details in the black frame. I adore it. <laughs> I saw that and was like, oh, I have to get that. So it was marked $3.99, which means I paid $2. I paid $2 and I absolutely love it. I think this will look really fantastic in my kitchen above the cabinets that's a possibility and I'm so excited about it. On a different trip, I just happened to glance through the dresses just really quickly and I spotted this one and I saw that it still had the tag and I thought, oh, that's interesting. It's Lauren Conrad, which is a designer that I usually like her stuff. And it's just a very simple kind of flouncy dress. It comes in at the middle and it has a ruffle at the bottom. It hits about the knee for me. So I thought this might be a contender for an Easter dress or, you know, just something I can wear for work. But I love this sleeve, how it's doubled like that. Not pretty. So this has me all excited for springtime coming around the corner. So I paid full price for this, which was, I think, $6.99, but still a great deal, especially because the original tags is 50. So not bad. These were from the 50% off day. So I found some I Spy in level one, which these are so fun for kiddos. I found Frog and Toad for level two. Okay, here's another I Spy. And this one is an Eric Carl. And uh, I really need to give this one a bit of a clean. It's got some markings on it. So a lot of you also ask me how I clean books. So I will show you in just a minute how I clean those and I'll give that a clean. And then this one is Tales of Oliver Pig, which is has a similar feel to Frog and Toad. And that's another great one for kindergarten, first, second, even into third grade. And I think I paid 99 cents a piece for those. And then I found this awesome reptile book. These are so cool. Um, they're just really interesting to kids. And I know at our school in second grade, they do a reptile project. And so I thought, well, and we're gonna need this pretty soon for my youngest. And look at, it has this cool fold out page, which is neat. So that'll be fun. And this one they actually charged as a children's book as well, which surprised me. I did find it in the children's section, but Really, this could be for any age. It's how to draw cool stuff, a drawing guide for teachers and students. And this has some cool stuff in it, like the title says. Like, I love the leaf, the leaf drawing page. It's so pretty and interesting. Since we have uh, Easter coming up around the corner, some little chicks in baskets. So, a really good find. All three of my children love drawing and this has been 
really used by them already <laughs> so I'm glad about that so let me show you how I clean books and then I also want to share with you a little bit of what I've been working on with my crafting so I have a little bit of a journal to share with you so let's get to it all right so this is the project that I've been working on and shout out to those of you who've been with me long enough that you remember when I got this at a yard sale probably it was before Clive was born <laughs> so it would have to be seven years ago that I bought this and I knew when I bought it who I wanted to make something for with this because they're they enjoy purple and so I've been working on adding things to this and my hope for this is that this can be a journal so I'm leaving a lot of room for writing but I used watercolors and wrote some words and um, this particular little book came with some papers that coordinate with the book itself which is fun and this is an envelope from a vintage uh, stationery set that I got at a thrift store years ago. So those of you who've seen me haul that, that's gonna look familiar. And then I just have some old papers in here. I have some more of the coordinating papers. So the person that I give this to can pull out these papers, write on them. This one is an old recipe. But on this side, they can write some thoughts um, memories, Bible verses, whatever they wish and tuck all of those little papers back in there. And then this, it was a bit of an experiment, but I actually watercolor directly on the paper and it makes it a little crinkly, but I actually kind of like that. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'll show you one more page. It's fun to save like the fronts of cards that you think are cute. You can cut those out and turn them into little notes that people can write on. It's just a great way to repurpose old papers and things. Um, I watercolored that and there's some sheet music in the middle. So anyway, I hope that the person I made this for enjoys it. And I was proud of myself for doing a project that I've been wanting to do for seven years now. <laughs> okay. So here's what I recommend you use for cleaning books like this. If you're cleaning an antique book that has a cloth cover, I don't recommend this method because you will remove the, uh, the color <laughs> from the fabric. So this kind of cover that's, you know, kind of hard and shiny, this method works really, really well. I just use some simple rubbing alcohol and a little disposable cotton pad or you can even use just regular cotton balls. So I often do this at my job. I work in the library and um, when kids bring books back to the library and they're a little bit sticky or just dirty from, from use, uh, this is the method that I use. And this is all it takes. Everything that was stuck to this book is coming right off. There is a bit of an odor, but honestly, if you're doing it in a nice open space, it's not too bad. So I don't know if you can see that. It's pretty, pretty amazing what you can get off of books just with a little bit of rubbing alcohol. And there's even more that came off. <laughs> all right, so this is all clean and it's ready to go. My kindergartner brought these beautiful little faux stained glass birds home from school. They were an art project that he did. I thought they were so sweet. We hung them up on our slider door underneath all of our snowflakes. It's just very, very sweet gives us a little bit of uh, whimsy 
on these long winter days. Thanks so much for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you will go check out some of those channels that I shared with you all and go share the love with them. And thank you so much for being here, for taking the time to uh, spend some time here today and thank you for staying till the end of the video. If you're new here, I hope you'll hit that red subscribe button. A thumbs up is a great way to share love with me, so I hope you'll do that. And you guys take care, have a wonderful Valentine's Day, and I will be back with more soon. Bye!